Hi everyone. I hope everybody's doing well. Um, thanks for tuning in. I'd like to um, welcome you if it's your first time here. And if it's not your first time, then I'd also like to welcome you back. Um, I am participating in a swap. The swap is um, a, it's titled Hug in a Mug. And what you see in front of you are the items that I use to create my project. It's a one-on-one -on -one swap and the swap entails creating um, something to showcase a warm liquid. So I met up with my partner and um, my partner is enjoying, no, she's not enjoying, she likes um, cocoa and she likes tea. So um, I centered my theme around what she likes. Her favorite color is blue. Um, first, let me apologize. Um, I don't know if I said this already, so it may be overkill, but I just got back from Lake K, Haiti, and I was there for six days. It was 83 degrees there where I'm at. It's 20 degrees, and I've caught a cold already. I haven't been home. I, I actually got home this morning, Tuesday morning, so I haven't been home very long. And I'm sick already, so yikes. Um, anyway, I said that because I may have to enjoy some warm liquid, which, which I have some tea and I have some peppermint. So you may hear me um, grabbing for that. Anyway, so let me share with you guys first uh, the products that I use and then I'll go into the actual um, project. So I use some ribbon. So I use some um, red and white gingham and just some thin ribbon. I use some diamond dust. This diamond dust I got at uh, the Goodwill is two bucks. And I use some glitter. I use four dyes. I used um, Lawn Fawn Hugs dye. I use the memory box. Oh, I'm hoping you guys can see. This. Oops, sorry. I'm hoping you guys can see this good. I use the memory box coffee on the go. I use love mittens. And I use the three snowflake dyes by Doris. The product ID number is 201419. And I wear the Doris um I think I say this in a lot of my videos, but I use a lot of their products because I'm where their uh, I live by where their headquarters is. So a lot of times we get some awesome deals on some of their stuff, and they run specials and stuff. So I like to take advantage of those. <sighs> that being said, let me continue on. I use some Recollections um, color splash. And I use some stickers. The stickers I use are, I use a few of these from the Dollar Tree. These are just the jewels. Um, and they are the um, flower shape. Sorry for the glare, guys. And if you guys happen to see me, and, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> excuse me, I got rollers in my hair. I'm in my pajamas. I'm getting my relaxation on. So if you guys happen to see me, don't laugh, y'all. Don't laugh. I just keep it real. <laughs> I got these from the Dollar Tree. I got these stickers um, from Michaels. I got actually two sets of them. And I use like a set of the bling pieces. I use one of the coffee mugs. And then I use the gemstones here. I use this stamp set. It's by uh, Angie Blum and um, Jocelyn Nielsen. It is a Unity stamp. And I, I like to, when I get them, I like to color my images in just so that I can see. Uh, like some of these things are so detailed and you might miss like the scar. You might miss stuff. So I like to color them in. I try to go online and research them and see how they color them in. If they in fact have something online that showcases um, the stamps, I like to do that. So I use that. 
I used this stamp um, set. I showcased this recently. Um, it's just, I got it from Joann's. It's dirt cheap. I use this baby. It's cold outside. And I just, what I do sometimes is I just do an offset on my silhouette or on my Cricut. And I, um, you know, will create sentiments out of those. Um, I use this paper pad. It is one of the Michael's Smart Hot Buys. I was about to say Smart Buy. It's by Craft Smith. It is one of the Hot Buys. And I used um, a couple of the sheets out of here. I used these Twinnings uh, Black Tea Variety Pack. Um, some Russell Stover's Milk Chocolates. I used a couple Lando Lakes Cocoa Packets. Some marshmallow stirs that I got from Tuesday morning. I think it's five in a pack. These were $3.99. These are cute. They have chocolate on them. And it says that they are to be um, to there for you to enjoy with a hot drink. They're gluten-free. That's nice. So I use those. I included some Ghirardelli's chocolates and peppermint bark. And what hot beverage is not um, complete if it doesn't have any type of peppermint. So I'll put some candy canes in my project. I may or may not <laughs> use this. I got this for continuity sake for the project, but I uh, may not use this. We'll see. I may package that up in there. I may not. So it took forever to show you guys what I use. Hopefully I can kind of scale this down to show you what I made. Um, move this stuff out the way. Okay. So, let me focus in on my little um, Sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah, I know I hate recording these videos. I swear I do, but, you know, people ask for them and if I don't record them, I'm never going to get good at this. Um, I have another um, place where I record at, but it's already set up and it's for uh, something else. It's like for something a little bit more professional and work, but um, it's already set up. It's easy. I wish I could record these videos there and make it so much easier, but I just, I don't know. Anyway, stop rambling, Lisa, and keep going. Okay, so... I used a um, silhouette cut file. It is called the T Cut Box. It's by Studio Illustrato. Desi design the, the the design ID number is one three five six eight zero. I will include that information inside the description box. The box is um, I actually sized the box larger to accommodate my contents. I cut it out four times. I cut it out on some chipboard. I cut it out twice with pattern paper. And then I cut it out once with a solid paper. And this is just a quick turnabout. So you guys can see it. And then I'll go into a little bit more specifics. So this is the stamp set. I back the stamp set with, I'm sorry, this is the stamp. The um, image, the Judy Blom, no, Angie Blom um, image, and I just backed it with a snowflake in the back, and I put some bling pieces there. I used some of the diamond dust to create a snow effect. I did the same here with the snowflakes. I paper pieced some rare hearts for continuity's purposes. On this side, it says, baby, it's cold outside. That's the stamp. I heat embossed it. I cut up one of the snowflakes and put two of the bling pieces again I included some diamond dust here is the uh, coffee mug from the sticker set that I use and I just uh, went around it with some blue and on the inside I included the cocoa packets I have two of the Ghirardelli chocolates and I, um, I, don't, I had these going a certain type of way which I'm gonna have to fix them later but I had, um, for presentation's sake, I had included these um, ribbons to keep it kind of tied. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> to keep it, 
to keep it kind of tied. And I'm going to have to fix this up the way I want it to. Um, and here is a, another, here's a Russell Stover chocolate. And I have four of the 20s. And I have four of the cocoa packets in the back. And I also have a spoon. The spoon I didn't show you. It's a DIY. It's a <laughs> do-it-yourself um, spoon set I got from Tuesday morning. I have no idea what that what I did with it. Anyway, so that's the box again. Again, I you know made it kind of sturdy so that she can place it where she'd like to. Um, so that's that. And I thought it turned out kind of cute. And I made a coordinating card to go with it. The card I just made a belly band. I like belly bands. I like to re I like to reuse a lot of stuff. So if you if you watch these videos and you see the things that I create, I create it with the intentions of the person that I'm gifting it to to be able to use stuff. I mean, I know that we're crafters. A lot of us already have a lot of this stuff. And to me, it can get a little overwhelming having so much stuff around and not being able to utilize it. So I like to, um, you know, include things that people can reuse. Anyway, so I included this belly band in here. And I just have some snowflakes here. I have those mittens and I have the coffee cup that I cut out. And I just put a flower piece there and I... Um, cut out the word hugs and this is kind of simple you know just use a piece of pattern paper from the coat the paper and here's the card I think the card is cute I just made another um, stamped image and I put some of the snowflakes there I made a tag on my cameo and the tag says cold night large sweater warm tea good book soft socks and box of chocolates and i just uh, put a ribbon there and on the inside it just says baby it's cold outside so i just stamped that and what i like to do is um use the paper and I guess like a non-traditional type way, I um, will use the white pieces on the outside, sorry. And then the inside pieces, I like to include those as a um, decorative element or like a pattern if I'm um, not using a double-sided paper. So that's that, guys. Um, I appreciate you tuning in. I hope that everybody is doing well. I hope that this video came out pretty clear. I'm not sure, but again, I just wanted to showcase what I did. I'm going to get this in the mail today. It's due today, so I don't like to be late. <laughs> Excuse me. So I'm going to get these things out today. Again, I thank everybody for tuning in, and I appreciate you. I hope that everybody is having a blessed holiday season and that you're getting a chance to spend time with your family and friends and loved ones. And you know what? Sometimes, um, I don't often say this, but um, just in light of where I just came from and what I've just seen and what I've just witnessed, it is important to check in on those that you care about. I don't care what your relationship is with them. Just stay connected with your family, with your friends. A lot of people are going through things that we have no idea what they're going through. Um, just, you know, just just call people, check in on them, lend a helping hand, you know, just be there, show up. You know, sometimes um, people just want to see that you care and that is enough to get them to the next place in their life or through, you know, whatever triumphs or battles they're fighting. So, again, with that having been said, I appreciate you guys. I am going to sign off right now. Have a blessed day, guys, and take care of yourself. Until next time, see you guys. Bye.